All right, Hurricane Lee continues its slow movement to the west-northwest. You can see the satellite picture here. Uh, a pretty large eye of Hurricane Lee, which means I, I, we're not going to be looking at much of any additional strengthening. In fact, if anything, Lee is going to be losing wind intensity. It is slowly moving to the north-northwest, and this slow movement, believe it or not, increases the probability of a landfalling hurricane uh, along the east coast of the United States. It'll mostly like, uh, if that happens, it'll be in northern New England here. I want to show you our exclusive eye path here for leave. There's that turn to the north, and then that north movement continues as we get into Friday and Saturday. I'm going to stop here at 7 to 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. Now, uh, we have cleared the Delaware, Maryland beaches all the way down toward Florida from any impacts. In fact, we cleared southeastern North Carolina and Florida last week. This week, we've cleared the Outer Banks of North Carolina all the way toward the Maryland, Delaware beaches. And what do I mean by clear? That means we're not looking at direct impacts from Lee. Rain and wind. Now, it gets murky here after 8 o'clock Saturday. Is Lee going to continue on this northward movement or... At some point late Friday night, Saturday, we're going to start seeing a turn toward the uh, east coast of the United States, specifically into New England. All right, I want to show you how both of these scenarios can happen, a turn, uh, a, a movement to the north or a turn to the northwest. But I want to preface this by saying I don't really believe this north movement. I think there's at least going to be some turn toward the northwest and toward coastal Maine as we head towards Saturday. Here's what's going on. Here's our dip in the jet stream. Here is our first piece of the puzzle. By the way, here's the dip in the jet stream, and then here's Lee. Now, the thought is if you get a due north movement, it's because this dip in the jet stream, as it comes east, as we get toward Wednesday night and Thursday, then pushes Lee to the north. It is then committed, in which case then, we would get a landfall where in the Nova Scotia. That is our first scenario, more of an eastern track. Now, it would not be out to sea. It would do new north. And by making that statement, we are now telling you there is going to be a landfall of Hurricane Lee. It's not going to be out to sea. Uh, there's going to be a landfall. This is the way that it's Nova Scotia, maybe the central or western part of Nova Scotia. I don't think it would be pretty far east. It would be the westernmost tip. This is scenario number one. This trough is able to pick up Lee and move it northward, and then most of the impacts would probably be coastal areas, maybe Cape Cod, coastal Maine. There wouldn't be many impacts inland across New England. Unfortunately, though, I don't think this is the most likely scenario because Lee is moving so slowly right now that by the time this trough comes, I don't think Lee is far enough north to be picked up solely by this trough. I do think there will be some influence northward, but I think it's more likely than as we get in the Thursday night and Friday, this trough lifts, leaves Lee behind, and then what do you end up having? Well, you end up having this dip in the jet stream coming across the western United States. You'll start building our high pressure off to the east, and then that makes a pathway to the west. Now, then the question becomes, how far west? Are we going to get a sharp turn or a gradual turn? That would mean more likely in the main. I think it's more of a gradual turn toward the west-northwest, or northwest, I should say, as we get into Saturday and especially Saturday night. So when I come back here, to the eye path here, or to the uh, probability here, you'll notice that we have the highest probability here in Nova Scotia and eastern parts of Maine. And, and I really think what we're going to end up doing is taking this higher risk and at least bringing it down into the mid-coast. What I suspect is going to happen here is that there will be a move toward the west-northwest and then maybe a turning at the last second that uh, we're not going to just plow it in the main, although that is a possibility. I think a more of a turn toward the west-northwest and then a gradual turn toward the north, and that means direct impacts here in coastal Maine and certainly Nova Scotia, and certainly uh, once you get toward uh, Cape Cod. That's why we do have a high risk there. Now, New Jersey and Long Island, right now uh, this is your impact or your probability of a direct impact, wind and rain from Lee. And you notice once you get toward Long Island and certainly New Jersey, you're, you're, you're less than a 40% chance. And in fact, New Jersey, it's 20% or less. Same story for most of Long Island. These are the next areas we will likely to clear. That'll be the Jersey coast and most of Long Island. We probably won't uh, 
clear the eastern tip of Long Island. The reason we would clear you is that we don't think there's a sharp turn toward the west, but more of a gradual turn to the west-northwest, right? So when you take a look, uh, again, at the forecast, uh, let's try.